Hello everybody, it's me Alice and today I'm vlogging because I know that I've not like uploaded a video in about a month which is really bad but um, my life had changed the past two or three months basically I got in a relationship and we were in it for like two months we were really happy and then we just broke up I won't go like to reasons why but like it was for the best really and I am a lot happier more motivated to like do YouTube again and I'm like I, I, I can't wait to start vlogging but anyway today it's Tuesday the 26th of March and today I have a driving lesson at half 11 so I'm gonna have to do my makeup because I don't want to leave the house looking like a spotty mess as you can tell my skin's been breaking out I have, I've literally used like face scrubs um face washes i've been using everything cover my skin just isn't like i don't know it's just really spotty but anyway makeup tutorial kind of thing in this vlog so for like firstly for makeup i do my eyebrows so the product i've used on my eyebrows is my morphe microblade eyebrow pencil this is in the shade i think it's wait in what shade is this in the shade latte and his pencil is really good and really precise on your eyebrows so what i like to do this is quite hard to show actually i just need to move this mirror so as, you can, as what i like to do I like, there's a spoolie on this end i like to move the like the spoolie in the hidden direction of natural eyebrow hairs and then i get the other side which is a pencil oh, i'll just show you what the pencil looks like it's like that it's really good so i'm just gonna line the bottom of my eyebrows this might take a while so i'm gonna line underneath the, the, the natural shape of the brow and the top of the eyebrow so I'm just gonna go like this and just line the top for tutorial or I do my eyebrows on camera my eyebrows always go really bad honestly why does that happen it's so annoying but as you can tell as I like to just fill them in lightly and there we go and now it looks like i have a slug eyebrow but it'll be alright because i'll be able to use some concealer and that so i'm going to do the other eyebrow so after i have filled in my awful uneven eyebrows i'll use my trusty revolution concealer in the shade c1 i'm just going to put this on like this part of my eyelid and then i kind of brush it up with like a little flat brush and then i go over like on the top of my eyebrow as well because my eyebrows look absolutely terrible so i'm just gonna use a little bit like that as you can see and then i'm going to find my little flat brush i'm gonna be using this one so i'm just gonna use this flat brush i'm gonna kind of line where i filled in my eyebrows um this is like really hard to do on camera but i'm gonna try and show you what i mean gonna lie underneath and then I get like a little bit of a concealer on the brush and I go on the top and just kind of line it around and shape my eyebrow the brush here it's like really fluffy and it's like blends it all of my eyelid and this makes it really, really smooth and a good base for my eyeshadow even though I won't be wearing any eyeshadow, eyeshadow today but Oh well, this pressed powder. I'm just gonna use like a flat eyebrow um, eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna use this brush. I'm just gonna just gonna get some powder and I'll pat it on my eyelid. Apply my most favorite eyelashes at the moment. Um, these ones are the Kiss eyelashes in the style corset, and they are my number one faves. Boots and Superdrug, I think, and they're really good. And the eyelash glue which I'll be using is this Duo Glue. This um eyelash glue smells a bit fishy which is horrible but his eyelash glue is really good so i will apply a thin strip on oh i'll apply a little bit hopefully onto my eye lashes even though the eyelash glue has came out and it's like it's going down there which is not right we'll wait around 20 seconds it has to set I, um, I like told them to the eyelash and this is gonna be quite hard to show because eyelashes are quite hard to apply so I'm just gonna hold it in the middle I'm gonna I'm gonna put it as close to my lash line as possible this is so difficult and then I like to hold it 
down at the ends and then I press it down at the middle as well and hopefully it all sticks down. This is quite hard to do though. Oh my god. As you can see I have one eyelash on my eye now which is good and it seems to be on pretty well as well so hopefully it, it won't fall off throughout the day otherwise I will be screwed but I think that's actually stayed on so that's very good. After my eyelashes are applied I'm moving on to face makeup so the primer which I will be using is my Kat Von D one. This is a hydrating primer and this does skin look glowy under the foundation so I was going to apply like two pumps of this I'm going to put this all over my face applied like applying primers really easily but it's really easy and then I will use my trusty the most best foundation ever so this foundation the Kat Von D one and I've got it in the shade light 44 cool this primer is good for oily skin because as you can tell I've got really oily skin because I get like really oily skin and I have like little spots on this um and this foundation is a matte primer and it lasts so long and the coverage is amazing as well so like as you can tell I've got lots of spots I like to put this on because it covers them all how I like to apply this and how to apply foundation but I don't really care because I like I just prefer using it this way so I square it on my, on my face so I put one pump there put another pump on here and I put a little bit on my nose and my chin as well and um the coverage I think so the brush which I use I, I got this brush off Amazon um and it's just like a good foundation brush um because it has like a little hole in the middle but it's really good and it doesn't leave any streak marks either because the one thing I hate with foundation brushes is when they leave streak marks or over like with a beauty blender and blend it in more but with this you don't have to so it's really good so I'm just gonna down um so that my face hairs don't like lift up so I'm just gonna brush down and now moving on to my concealer I will be using my favourite concealer which is the Revolution one in the shade C1 so obviously I'm going to put this under my under eyes because I've got very dark circles um, I'm going to put this on my chin and a little bit on my nose and a tiny bit on my forehead as well and then to use this I will use my Real Techniques sponge and to wet this I'll be using my Mario Obadescu spray I'm just going to do two sprays on that I'm going to ask this to dry a little bit on the sponge and then I'm going to start blending. So I'm going to go onto my under eye and just also blend it in. I'm going to look up. The coverage on it, as you can see, the coverage on this concealer is a whopping 10 out of 10. Like it, the coverage, I don't know, it doesn't know how to explain it. Like the coverage is just so good. Like it's so, like I don't I don't, I don't have no words basically. Like this, this concealer is honestly the best, the drugstore for coverage because. It just is so good for like your under eyes or if you want to cover any spots it honestly is amazing for eyes only because i hate using it anywhere else on my face so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna open the lid of my pressed powder i'm just gonna put a little bit in that's probably enough that's probably enough that's it and then i'll be using this sponge which i love it's a real techniques one use a flat end obviously and then i'll just kind of pat this under my under eyes and then I do the same on the other side as well. I'm baking. I just like to use my 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 powder brush, which is so pretty, and just like to use it everywhere on my face, like everywhere else apart from my eyes. Now I'm going to move on to my most favorite contour palette I have ever used. Honestly, Fondi is my favorite high-end makeup brand. As you can tell, I have this is the third product of theirs I'm using. This is their shade and light contour palette. This is just the powder one because I cannot use cream contour. Like I just can't use it. But I'm just going to use these two shades here. As you can tell, are the ones that I use. I never really use this one because I am really pale. And imagine if I use this on my face, I would have the most darkest contour ever. So I'm just going to be using these two shades mixed together and the brush which I'm going to be using is my Spectrum I think it's just the like contour brush in in the number A05 and this is really cute um I think this one mermaid collection because I've got a few of these and they're really good but I'm just going to use this shade here first on my cheekbones so usually I, I go like this mm -hmm -hmm. 
as you can tell I blend up and down and I'm going to use the middle shade just to add some more kind of warmth into it I've got one cheekbone contoured and it's going to move on to the other one I like to use the middle shade and I like I pat it on like this and this just adds some colour onto my face because I've got a really pale face so I need to like have some colour on it otherwise I will be pretty pale so I just like to pat this on and I like to do that on the other side as well this makes my face look very nice and bronzed and it looks like I've been on holiday for like three weeks which is good so it's good and then I for my nose I like to use the, the lightest shade and I just use like the end of this brush like the pointy bit and I kind of go like this on my nose so th that nose contour has gone absolutely crap today but anyway I'm going to blend my whole contour now honestly I feel like my makeup has, hasn't gone well today but it's every time like I record a video I don't know why but I'm just going to blend this I, I usually like to blend it like in the light so I face like off, off my window I'm just going to blend this my awful contour is now blended. I will be, I will move, I can't even speak today. Um, I will move on to highlight. And my most favourite highlight ever, this is the best highlight ever. I, I use this Open Decay Times Stin Lian highlight palette. And I like to use the middle shade because that's like my kind of shade for highlight. I can't use this one because I just get like this orange mark on my face. But I like to use the middle shade. And the brush which I will be using is this Real Techniques and gold highlight brush and I just like to go like this on the brush and you have to move more in the light for highlight because otherwise you, you can't really see like the difference I'm just going to go on my nose <gasps> look at look it's, it's highlight look how lovely that is already I've only had to put it on once and this is how oh, that, that nose highlight is absolutely amazing it's on point honestly and then I like to go on my cheekbones just here as you can tell, look at that glow, love it. And then it's like to add some more. Honestly, my nose highlight is always the best. Look how like blinding that is. Onto a different highlight. So so it's like for my brow bone, I use a Primark highlighter and sometimes Primark makeup isn't that good, but trust me, this one is so good. So this is the Brunch Club one. I'm going to use this on my brow bone. I'm just going to use this like a little, kind of little highlight brush. I don't think it's a highlight brush, but I like to use it for that. I'm just going to put this on my brow bone. I'm just going to tell it adds a little nice glow to it. But prim this Primark highlighter is got to be so good. I'm going to put some neat in the corner as well. Look at that glow. Oh my god, this is why I love highlights so much, it's so pretty, it's, it's such a lovely thing to add to your makeup look. Right by Revolution, this is a peaches and cream and this smells of peaches, like it smells lovely. So I'm just going to like shake this before I use this and I'm just going to spray this all over my face. So I'm just going to go like this, but I, I told my breath obviously. So hopefully this makeup should last a bit longer. I'm just gonna let this dry on my face before I add my lipstick. Finally, moving on to lipstick, I will use this lovely Revolution lipstick, the liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Echelon, and this is the dupe for Mac Velvet Teddy. Like this is the same shade, no word for lie, but this is like really good and it's a really good liquid lipstick and I'm sure these are around like six pounds and with with a lip liner but as you can tell the lip liner is basically dead so I can't really use that but I'm gonna use liquid lipstick I'm just gonna put this on the bottom lip first. Go and I transfer it onto the top lip and then I'll just like, put it on the top. I finished makeup look for today. So yeah. I think I think I've done everything, yeah. But like I applied my makeup really quick. I think uh, I started it at I want to say twenty past eleven and it is now Ten to so basically half an hour, which half an hour for me is pretty quick because sometimes I can take forever. But anyway, I'm gonna use some hand sanitizer. This hand sanitizer is from Primark and it's the peach one. Honestly, I love peach smelling things at the moment. I'm pretty obsessed. 
I said to use this to get rid of any, any powder or any makeup that's been on my hands. But I think that is my makeup look. So I'm just going to show you like in the light. Because today is so like sunny and bright today. So like it, it makes the highlight look really nice as you can tell. The nose highlight is the best part of this makeup look I think. Because it just adds a nice colour to your face. And makes your skin look really healthy. If you enjoyed this vlog. If you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.